Hello everybody, welcome back. It's me, the Yorkshire Man Reacts. And I'm back for another episode of Bottom. Mm. We all like this, don't we? The last episode was really good. It was a Christmas special, holy. And it was fantastic, yes. So I thought, let's do the next episode. I was going to do something else tonight, but something wrong with the, with the sound. Um, it was too quiet, and no matter how much I lowered the volume of my mic, in OBS, there was no way that you were going to be able to hear it over me at any point, so I would have had to pause every time I wanted to speak. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go searching for a better version of that, with better sound, with loud, wait, wait, just louder, I just, just need it to be louder, that's all. So, uh, until we find that, yeah. I can do, I'm afraid. So let's just go for the next episode of Bottom. What else can we do, right? We love this, I love this. So please, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like the video and subscribe and join the Patreon. It's one dollar a month. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm also doing a special offer on Patreon uh, for the foreseeable future. Anybody who joins between now and whenever I decide to stop it, uh, as soon as you join, the first time that you pay me, I will send half of the amount that I receive off you back to you via PayPal or something so that you're getting 50% off your first month. And that's fair enough. Might even make it two months. Let's see how I feel. See how many people actually join first. Probably nobody. Let's go. Out. Out. Good luck, Doctor. Good luck, about you, but after a long hike like that, I'm just about ready to pitch camp and hit the sack. What do you mean? I can still see the bus stop from here. <laughs> yes, this looks like a good spot, a natural sort of, uh... Shithole. <laughs> yeah, shit... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. hollow in the lee of the wind, fresh water supply, the wind coming from... Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> You'd think people would have more control over their dogs, wouldn't you? Uh... Look at that! <sighs> so it's literally wind. a shithole. <laughs> no, we can't camp here. We're not French. Heidi ho, on we go, Eddie. No rest for the... Oh, <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear, it'd be English. Yeah, this is much better here, yeah. Much more likely spot. Oh, oh this is great, isn't it? What? <laughs> this! No! You poor, sad, deformed, urban pustule. <laughs> this is real life. Okay. Nature, struggle, destiny. Where's your romance? Well, she works in sketches on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Should be going out with her tonight. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Find him off now. I could just get to the chemist before they shut. <laughs> you stay where you are, Judas. Where's your sense of it? He's going to the chemist for some uh, cheese, in, cheese and onion flavour Union Jack ticklers. Venture. Ah, oh, now she's in Chiswick. <laughs> I mean, where's your spunk? I don't, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh -huh. Let's just avoid that line of questioning, yeah. shall we? Come on, Eddie. <coughs> Lovely birds. Besides, if we don't do it, we'll lose that bet with Mad Ken Stalin that we can live rough in the country for a week. And we haven't got 50 quid, and I'd rather hang on to my kneecaps if it's all the same with you. <coughs> all a the week? same with you? A week? Oh, In here? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, uh, Out here, sorry. I, I was hoping to break that to you at a more opportune moment. A bloody week? <laughs> a bloody week? <laughs> Yeah, well, I wasn't the one who got drunk and bet him he couldn't stick a dart in his temple. <laughs> Once he'd done that, he had us over a barrel. But I've only got enough underwear for tonight. <laughs> That's all you've ever had. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Now, look, we're stuck with it. So will you, for heaven's sake, stop moaning? Come on, let's get the tent up. Honestly, Alexander the Great never had this problem. Yeah, well, he wasn't a complete dickhead, was he? <laughs> right, that's it. That's it. What the yeah. <laughs> I've been doing evening classes in jujitsu, you know. Well, you should have done them in Hammersmith, then you could have saved money on the bus fares. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing evening classes in jujitsu, you know. Well, you should have done them in Hammersmith, you'd have saved money on the bus fare. Ha 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 ha! What great mates we are! <laughs> <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu, Hammersmith, marvellous. <laughs> Come on, let's get the tent right. <laughs> He's a wanker! Right up! Uh 
Oh, yeah. Tent peg. Right, well, that's the toilet tent. <laughs> Where do we sleep? Toilet? Oh. <laughs> Look out, everybody. I'm about to blow my trousers off in merriment at Eddie's sarcasm. Well, you mean that's the whole tent? Eddie, this isn't just a tent. That is literally just like a bed sheet with two things underneath it, holding it up at e e either end. Like, that's not a tent. <laughs> this is a World Ranger Stormbuster 4. <laughs> you can go anywhere in that. Yeah, and we probably will as soon as the breeze gets up. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah, yeah! <laughs> You'll be flying around London <laughs> like Aladdin on his magic carpet. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, hey, don't know. You can go anywhere in that, yeah. Anywhere that isn't the North Pole, the desert, anywhere that's not freezing cold or really warm. Just knock it. You'll be glad of this when the bomb drops. What? You think that's going to withstand a 20 megaton nuclear blast? <laughs> well, you'll be sleeping in it tonight, so we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Wait a minute. We're both going to sleep in this? No. Yes? No. I'll be gone. We'll be very close, won't we? <laughs> well, we'll have our sleeping bags to keep us respectable. <laughs> sleeping bags? What's this all about? The last thing I remember was ordering two pints of mild. <laughs> well, I've got my sleeping bag. Well, where's my sleeping bag? Well, the last I heard, she was in Chiswick. <laughs> sleeping so bag. only one sleeping bag. It would appear so, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Eddie. I'm not trying to trick you into a nudie sauce romp, believe me. I'd rather stick my genitals in a bee's nest. Ooh! No. Kinky. No. Kinky. How am I kinky? You want to stick your genitals in a bee's nest? <laughs> no, I don't. That's the whole point. It's sarcasm. It... <sighs> Look, the point I was trying to make is that though sticking one's genitals in a bee's nest is a stupendously unnice thing to do, it's nevertheless preferable to having a squidgy sleeping bag session with you. All right, now can we just get our equipment out? I mean, get our, I mean, get our tackle out. But no, I mean, get our gear out. Our tackle! <laughs> Meh, bloody bastard. Put your tickle tackle away. Oh, God. You can't say anything without some dreadful double entendre lurking around the corner. No, you can't, Look, not me, you two. So unpack and get dinner on the go. All right. All right. Oh, oh. Forgot I bet food. you forgot the tin opener, didn't you? I despair. I mean, I really do. I give you one simple task, one little obligation, and what do you do? You forget it. Well, that's where you're wrong, because... Ha, 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 ha! Here it is. Right, where are the tins? Shit! <laughs> Shit! You stupid bastard. <laughs> Why did you make me forget them? Why do I have to do everything? We're going to starve to death now. We are going to starve to death! But look, I've got a packet of chocolate hobnobs. <laughs> Chocolate hobnobs! <laughs> hey! That's not bad yet. Can't beat a hobnob. Chocolate hobnobs are elite. Yep. Oh, thank God! Oh, 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 Eddie, we're saved. What do you mean, we? I'm alright, I don't fancy your chances much. <laughs> uh -huh. Have a heart, Eddie. It's your old pal here, Richie. And Daphne, bugger off! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> come on, come on!
videos when they had a fight, it was like kind of normal. The punches were, you know, normal punches. But as it's gone on, it's gotten more ridiculous. <laughs> and it's just. <laughs> And, you know, Richie winding up his punchline, <laughs> and Eddie just—I love that. <laughs> Belt up, <laughs> bang! <laughs> it's just like. Comedy martial arts or something. <laughs> if Cobra Kai was a comedy. <laughs> what was that film where they ate each other? Deep Throat, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Brought Back Mountain. <laughs> Great, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh, they're drying the biscuits. Hey, back out. to the question of food. Oh, yeah. Hang on, this is Wimbledon Common, isn't it? Yes. Hey, they're on a common in Wimbledon and they're fretting over f all the food that they've got is a packet of hobnob. Can't they just walk to the shop? I wonder how much meat you get on a womble. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, wombles don't exist. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. I've seen them on the telly. <laughs> Eddie. Would it scar you for life if I told you they were just puppets? Probably. Yes, it would. Yeah. Good. Eddie, they were just puppets. <laughs> well, what's that then? A, ah, oh. Eddie, that is a That's a hedgehog. No, it's not. That is Great Uncle Bulgaria. <laughs> well, if it's Great Uncle Bulgaria, then the series has taken a sad turn for the worse, because he's wandering about in the nude. <laughs> oh, the Wombles have got X-rated. <laughs> Pop your insane, leaking brain back in its sponge bag for just an instant and concentrate. Now, womble or not, that is our supper. <laughs> It'll be a bit spiky, won't it? Eddie, Red Indians eat them, you know. Well, is that why they run around going... <laughs> Eddie, Eddie. You're so swadizant. <laughs> Red Native Americans do not run around the place going... Wah! They run around going, how? how? I bet they do. I bet they run around going, how the bloody hell are we supposed to eat that spiky hedgehog? No, they do not. They run around the place saying, how lovely that spiky hedgehog meal was, Mrs. Sitting Bull. We really must do the same <laughs> next Tuesday. It was charming. How's Roger's prep school, by the way? What the bloody hell are you talking about, you madman? You wouldn't understand, Eddie. Different social strata. Now, <laughs> how are we going to kill it? Well, you could bore it to death. <laughs> right oh. <laughs> No. Hmm. Oh, and it's all academic. Now he's buggered off. Oh, oh no! There he is, in the thicket. Right, this is it. Uh, okay, right. I know. Let's entice him out with a chocolate hobnob. <laughs> Great idea! Great idea! And then when I don't think that'll work, Eddie. I think hedgehogs prefer worms and other various bugs. He's out in the open, we'll surround him and finish him off. Is it right? So we need to gather together some sticks and sort of lash them together to fashion some sort of rifle. <laughs> I wonder what the pygmies do. They wander around saying, Craggy, isn't everything big? <laughs> it's no wonder they're dying out then, is it? Uh... <gasps> Hang on! I've got my darts. Uh, and we could use this as a blowpipe. Oh, oh yes! God. Oh, Eddie, yes! Darts on a blowpipe. Very rainforest. God, I wish Sting was here to see this. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, hang on. Now listen, if we're going to do this really, really properly, we're going to have to have some proper Amazon Indian names for ourselves. Come on, before he goes off to meet Orinoco. <laughs> shut up, Eddie, shut up. This is important. Right, now, it's got to be sort of eagerly, with a dash of running dog and not forgetting a hint of being a tower of attraction to women. Mm. What about Neville? <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <sighs> Running Neville. Yeah, no, 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 no. Running Neville. Neville. No, no. Neville. Squatting Neville. <laughs> Come on, he's getting away. All right, all right, don't hustle me. Oh, well, I don't like it, but we'll go with Pocahontas. All right, Pocahontas. Entice him out. Right. Hey, 
Don't forget to make the noise. Ah. 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 Bug it off. Ah. <laughs> oh no, there he is, by that tree. Right, let's go. Oh, hey, Eddie. Do you think we should do this in our underpants? <laughs> That'd be great, it'd be really indian -y. We could get some hankies and put them down the front and the back like flaps. And then... <laughs> Stupid idea, isn't it? <laughs> we haven't got any hankies. No, hang on. We could use some pages from the Evening Standard. They're even bigger. We get a big flap down the front and a big flap down the back. We'll get our biros out and we'll doodle on our nipple. <laughs> Right. This is just making. Th this is like an advert. Why you should never follow Richard Richard into a forest or whatever on your own because he's into some kinky shit. <laughs> Why don't we put flaps on our underwear and draw on our nipples? <laughs> no. Flap down the front and a big flap down the back. We'll get our biros out and we'll doodle on our nipple. <laughs> Take your point. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? <laughs> Right then, <clears throat> let's hunt. <sighs> Mrs. Tiggy Winkle! Mrs. Tiggy Winkle! It's not working. <sighs> Mr. Tiggy Winkle! Yum yum! Right, Eddie, he's broken cover! Let him have it! <sighs> Did I get him? Is no, it? you missed. Damn! Eddie, old chum. Yes, my old mate. Do us a favour and pull this dart out the back of my head, would you? <laughs> Where did that oh, get there? I've no idea. <laughs> Hurry along now, I'm losing my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I'll just hang around here on the shore if it's all the same with you. Oh, come on, he's only a fish. Yes, I realise that, but unfortunately my hand is now attached to this bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> 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 right, give me the blowpipe. Yep. I'm very sorry, Richie. It's your turn, Edit. Give me the dart. Here you go. Right. <laughs> I know what's going on. Go and stand over there. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah! <gasps> he swallowed the dart! <laughs> oh no! That's the most dangerous, actually. A dart's very sharp. You swallow that, you've, you've had it. Oh, and if it doesn't slash his esophagus, I wouldn't, I don't envy him having to shit that out. Oof. <laughs> or even worse, if the body processes it as liquid, pissing it out. Oh! <laughs>
I give up with these two, I really do. I don't think we're really cut out for this dog. <laughs> <coughs> the only thing that's had anything around here is the bloody hedgehog. There's only one hobnob left. That's 27 hobnobs he's had. It's no wonder he shits like a great day. <laughs> hey, Lily, why don't we have a go at that fish? But we haven't got a rod. <laughs> no wonder he shits like a great dad. <laughs> <sighs> hey, why don't we use your vest as a net? Would I have to be in it? Come on, give us the vest. <laughs> How did he do that? Right, get the stove nice and hot. Stand back, Mooby, here I come. <sighs> have you caught anything yet? Yes, I think I very probably have caught something, Eddie. Oh! <laughs> Put it down! Not the best round here, you know. Oh no, I can already see what's going to happen. He's going to get his lighter out, light it, and then the next thing you know, kaboom! <laughs> Everything these two do is a disaster. Like, nothing goes right for them. They couldn't even manage Christmas dinner. I mean, how do you miss... It's something that every British person has done every year of their life, right? What else have they messed up that's really simple? Uh... Oh yeah, Eddie bet on one of the women in uh, the Miss World competition and he just so happened to bet on the ugliest one because her odds were like, what, 500 to 1? So he was like, well, that's the best option because I'll win the most money. Yeah, there's a reason they odds are... Oh, God. Oh no, great. Eddie, I've landed one. She is a beauty. <laughs> nice one, Richie. Look at her. Look at her. She must be that big. <laughs> oh. That's an hors d'oeuvre. That's not. That's not dinner that you've caught there, Richie. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Oh, quite the little battler, yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm afraid we we lost the net in the conflict. <laughs> You mean my vest is in the pond? <laughs> yep. Is the stove lit yet? Half? Half? Yeah, you haven't seen the matches anywhere, have you? No. You try rubbing a stick together. Hmm. It's a tad more urgent than that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. You can use my briquet. But don't keep your finger pressed down longer than a second, all right? <laughs> This is probably going to be loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. I do want to be able to still hear things by the time I'm 40. <laughs> it's like in Harry Potter! In Gorgio. Reduce <laughs> under the grill. I'm famished. <laughs> is it done then? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it is. So. They don't take long, do they? <laughs> well, we just eat it straight off the ground, do we? Is that safe? Oh, Eddie. You and your hygiene. <laughs> We're in the country. I don't think it matters when it comes to you. It's not like you've got much to protect in there, is it? <laughs> Beside here, we've got everything we need. We'll wash it in the lake. Lovely, fresh mountain stream. <laughs> It'll be lovely. Yeah, well, you pick it up. It's a bit near the dog shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> the scent. Oh, lost a bit. Uh, uh. Uh. Which end's the head, do you think? <laughs> oh, come here, give it a country boy, I'll divide it up. Uh, well, it's bound to be one end or the other, isn't it? Uh, there, heads or tails? 
No, we can't do that, can we? Uh, <laughs> go, go, all right, I'll have the black bit, you have the flaky bit. Good health. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> Not eating yours, Eddie. No, I'm keeping it. Uh, yeah. For evidence. Oh, come on, Eddie. You've got to get some nutrition. I'm all right, mate. I've got half a bottle of scotch here. I know whose side I'm on. Oh, yes! Let's get boozy and sit around the campfire singing dirty rugby songs. Yeah. Right. Oh, here we go. Fire. Ah! <laughs> oh, well. First... These two are cursed. Literally, as soon as they were both sat down on the ground, the flame's gone. I mean, I know it's like a little Bunsen burner thing, isn't it? So it's only got a finite amount of gas. But just... Oh. Talk to me. Ah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Oh, I'm going crazy! Okay, dirty rugby songs, let's go! Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little... No, it's not really dirty, that one, is it, Eddie? Uh, Eddie? Oh, Eddie! <laughs> oh, Eddie, don't pass out already! You miss out on all the fun! What fun? Yes, I suppose that's a point. When you come to think of it, nothing much ever really right. happens in the country, does it? Just, uh, just to recap, they're doing this for a bet, right? They've made a bet with someone, and the person they made a bet with said that he bets these two can't survive a week camping. So, what I don't understand is, why don't they just pretend that they've done this? Say that they've done it? I mean, it's not like there's someone there on behalf of the guy that's bet them to do this, making sure that they stay there for the week. You know? Where's the obligation? I'm just... I'd, be, I'd, have, I'd have left already. I mean... It, it, oh. as, soon as, I, as soon as I'd seen where Richie was expecting us to do this, if I was Eddie, I'd have been gone. Because it literally looks like... We've all got them. Every town's got a place like this. It's like wasteland, surrounded by... Thicket bushes, bram bramble bushes, and there's just rubbish everywhere. You know, as Richie found, used condoms, dog shit all over the place. <laughs> dirty rivers, the, the dirty little puddles or ponds full of mucky water. Just, why? You couldn't have picked a better, I mean, the new forest? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that they were still filming this part of the episode when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why they do it, really, don't you? <laughs> I mean, with something as small as that. <laughs> I mean, mine's bigger than that, mine's tiny! <laughs> Ish, tiny-ish. Ish. Ish. <sighs> oh, well. Time for bed. What do you mean? It's only half past five. Yeah, oh, Eddie, what don't else be is silly. It's the country now. You know what they say? A cuckoo in May. Who are who are eh? Right. Well, here we are, Edward. Are you sure you didn't sneak a quick peek at my underpants while I was getting into my sleeping bag? Absolutely, Richie. I give you my word of honour. I didn't get even the slightest glimpse of your gaudily stained love blob containers. <laughs> love blob right. containers! Good. Well, nighty night then. What do you normally do when you go to bed, Eddie? <laughs> no, no, Richie. Just sense the tone. This is not the time or the place. Normally I have a bit of a kip. <laughs> it's so concise. I mean, what's your going to bed routine? Ah, routine. Well, 
I normally get into bed and then I have a bit of a kip. <laughs> yeah. I'm well. on telly right now. <sighs> Probably missing Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> God, it's like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like the first night when they're on the, uh, the island and they're just all sat around in like the camp that they've made and they're, and they're like, I bet so-and-so's on telly right now and I bet he's getting up to so-and-so. The kids start saying, you, you're in Wimbledon Common, you're not... <laughs> oh my God. Just leave. Go home. Uh, Matt will have his arm up some cow's backside by now. <laughs> Lucky bugger. <laughs> We'll miss the late show, of course. Oh, no. Oh. That bird in the red specks. <laughs> Eddie, are you carrying a torch for her? No, it's just the way my trousers rock up. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what are you reading, Eddie? I don't know. I'm too drunk to focus. <laughs> Bored now. <sighs> you ever been hang gliding, Eddie? Nope. No, nope. nor me. No, nor me. Well, that's exhausted that one then. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I can't think of anything else to talk about, you know. Well, night, night then! <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Night, night. Sleep tight. Hope the bed bugs do not bite. If they do, do a poo. Put it in a Cornish stew. <laughs> Into the ambulance, drink, drink, drink. Fish trousers elephant in Peking. Saw a busy bee, diddle diddle dee. Dad is an accountant just like me. And I'm God bless. I get why this is the last episode of the series. I get it now. I, 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 I've been enlightened. The light bulb's just gone off in my head. Eddie's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> What was that? That was quite impressive, actually, that little rap. Sleep tight. tight. Hope the bed, hope bugs, the bed do bugs do not bite. Hope the bed bugs do not bite. If they do, if they do, do, do a poo. poo put, put it in a Cornish stew. <laughs> Into, Into the, the ambulance, ambulance ring, 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 fish, trousers, elephant, elephant in Peking. Saw a busy bee, diddle diddle dee. That is an accountant just like me. That night, God bless. That one is. I'm still not asleep, you know. Really? You know, I think it's a sleeping bag. It's letting in a draft. Oh, my heart bleeds. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Eddie. I'm Why hasn't Eddie got it? Do us a favour, me old pal. Grab a hold of my drawstring and give it a bloody good yank. <laughs> Here. Here. Oh. Night, night, then. Mm, oh no, 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 no. Put the light out, Eddie, would you? No. Ha, he's gone. He's having enough. <laughs> get out. I'm about to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> night, night, then world. Oh, fuck me up, the starfish. It just literally. Yeah, they're cursed. They're cursed. I've never had. I've never seen these two have a, a bit of good luck. Apart from when they went to the dating agency and Richie got the Viscountess of Moldavia. But then what happened happened, and Eddie, what was it, five hours he had with her? That's the only look either of these two have had. Eddie, Eddie. there's someone outside doing owl impressions. <laughs> Not really. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good ones either. I was having a 
a dream. I know, it sounded harrowing. No, I was in bed with Kim Bassinger. <laughs> it was fantastic. Let's get back to sleep very quickly. <laughs> Where the bloody hell am I? No, Eddie, calm down, you're in a tent. You're in a tent. Listen, Eddie. I think there's something outside. Yeah. Well, there's bound to be something outside, Richie. You can't expect the universe and its entire contents to be contained within the confines of a small canvas tent. <laughs> You're very philosophical for this time of night, Eddie. Uh -huh. yeah, well, I've had half a bottle of scotch. What do you expect? <laughs> now, listen. No, Eddie, I'm serious. I'm getting a sense of something magnificently evil, black and foul, hanging in the air, waiting to destroy us. Yeah, that'll be the fish repeating on you. <laughs> there it is again. What do you think it is? A wolf? A bear? <gasps> a bear? In Wombles! England? Wombles! Wombles! <laughs> Look, Eddie, Eddie, why don't we bring the fire inside the tent to ward them off? Well, that'd be a bit dangerous. <sighs> I'll just... Just carry on. Wouldn't it? No, oh, it's gone out. Well, what's the point then? <laughs> oh, yes, oh, silly me. <laughs> Why don't we light a small fire? Oh, yes, oh, silly me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Why don't we light a small fire inside the tent? All right, just a small one. You know me. A tiny, itsy, bitsy, teeny one. Good old Eddie. Yeah, I know now, you. Now, where's the paraffin? Here we go. No, no, Eddie, don't drink it. We need that. <laughs> stand well back. You need to stand well back. I can't get out of this bloody sleeping bag, can I? Here we go. No, Eddie, change of plan. <laughs> Ward them off. <laughs> oh. oh, Eddie, look! Oh. Help me get out of the sleeping bag! There's no time! Fashion Week's got out a bit, of, got a bit out of control that year, didn't it? <laughs> I always thought the models were skinnier than that. <laughs> Just right, go well, home. That's about it for me. I'm off. Yeah. Just pay the bet. Why are you not coming? Well, I can't. I can't move, can I? Now that's a point. Now that's a point. Eddie, no! <laughs> Rupert Bits as Mr. Tent. <laughs> <laughs> this never gets old for me, this bar. <laughs> right, that is the end of Bottom Season 2. And that was 28 minutes and 15, well, 12 seconds of just endless chaos. <laughs> As is usually the way with these two. I mean, it just is, isn't it? They never do anything right. Everything always goes wrong. They never have any luck.
They're absolutely, unequivocally, mind-bogglingly stupid. <laughs> but do you know what it is? This is the difference between classic comedy and modern com comedy. Like all the others, they have a charm to them. They just do. It's like the same with Gimme Gimme Gimme, you know, them two. Tom and Linda, they're absolutely horrible people on the surface. They treat each other like shit, they treat everybody else like shit. They're both ridiculous, the way they act, everything about it. But you like, you, you love them, don't you? You just love the characters. And it's the same with this. You can't help but love them. I, I cannot think of anybody who'd watch this show and just not end up falling for these two. They're just so likeable, they've got such a charm to them, you can't fight it off. And, um, yeah, you know, it, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like, you know how it's going to go. Once you've got a few episodes in, you've got an idea of the tone, what's, uh, how it's likely to go. But you still have that hope for them that something's going to go right, you know, whatever they're scheming with in the latest episode that you're watching, when you're watching it for the first time, like me, you're, um, just that little bit of hope, you're like, maybe what they're trying to do this time, they might get lucky, but it doesn't. <laughs> and there is, you know, a little bit of disappointment that it's just gone wrong again for them. But it's just such a laugh. I'll never get over this. How um, just how good it is. The comedy is brilliant, and uh, I'll never forget it. It's gonna become one of those shows for me. About it. I'll always watch it. I'll always go back to it. Well, I have been, you know, I've been going back to the, uh, the my reactions on Patreon and just watching them through again, just for the episode. It's, it just never gets old. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. And these two are fantastic as well. So, yeah, that wraps up the second series. So we are now more than halfway through, which is a bit disappointing. I always get a sense of feeling quite heavy when we get onto the last series of something. I got it was still game, and gimme gimme gimme, chewing the fat. It was like, you know, just being fully aware that this is it now. We're on the finishing straight. Once these are done, it's done. And, uh, you know, even more so the, f the uh, knowing with still game that the last, si that was it. Because, Paul and Greg have said, that's it, we're done now, we're never bringing these characters back. The sense of that feeling is even more with this, because Rick, sadly, is no longer with us. So this definitely can't come back. This is not going to be one of those classics that comes back in a, a couple of decades for a, a revamp, like, uh, what have they just brought back with Nicholas Lindhurst? Is it Frasier? And um, what else are they doing? Isn't John Cleese bringing back Faulty Towers or something? I'm sure I heard that somewhere. I might be wrong. But they bring certain things back to cash in on the nostalgia and the, you know, the fandom. But this is gonna this is one that, that it can't come back. Because it's just aired on his own now. Rick's gone. And you couldn't have, and bottom is not bottom without without Rick. It just isn't. You need these two together. That's what makes it work. That's why it's so good. It, it's not good because it's one idiot on his own. It's funny and so, you know, lovable as it is because it's two idiots. <laughs> and they're just feeding off each other's stupidity, kicking the shit out of each other. They're just absolute classic f com sitcom frenemies. That's what they are. So, yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to slow it down just a little bit with the last series. Instead of doing an episode every couple of days, I might just do one every week or two a week, maybe. Depending on the schedule, because pretty soon we're going to be ending up with about four or five new TV shows to do. We've got the uh, the poll on Patreon. 
where um, there's going to be three new sitcoms coming out of that at least and then the new pilot series which I started last night with the first episode of Line of Duty after I've done a bunch of pilot episodes we're going to have a new drama series and then there's the vote on YouTube between these two so one of these is going to be added as well so hopefully that'll slow it down a little bit on top of everything else we've got going on so mind your language and scotch and rye I've got the last, e last episode of that to do I'm sad about that I'm going to miss that so much I know there's more like with the uh, Reverend I Am Jolly there's like spin-off sort of stuff with that to come but Scotch and Rye's the main thing and I've only got the last episode of that to go and I just don't want to do it when it's the end of that you know I've completely fallen in love with that show and Ricky Fulton like he's a legend so yeah I'm sure you've already noticed those of you those of you that have been around for a while longer than six months to a year you, you must have noticed it we're still game the last series so, well not the like the last three episodes are still game I did them over a course of like three months <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to do them. I think the last episode, the gap between the, the penultimate episode and the last episode, it was like two months. In fact, it, it was probably longer than that, actually. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was. We did the last episode on the 28th of November, didn't we? Was it the 28th? No, no, that didn't sound right. 2nd of October and 9-6 so 9-5 bear with me June 4th <laughs> So it was longer, so June 4th to the 2nd of October, that's how big the gap was. But I promise I won't, that won't happen with this and, and the others. Well, we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. So, everybody who's watching this on Patreon, thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Especially all the people that are sticking around during the Christmas period. I honestly expected like a massive amount of you to just like leave for a month. Because it's crazy out there right now. Everything's so expensive. I thought a few people would dip until at least the new year, but you haven't. I think one person's cancelled their membership in the last month. I think. Or it might be two. So, I really appreciate that. Thanks to everybody who's, you know, sticking around. It means a lot to me. Um, and those of you watching on YouTube, please like the video, subscribe. And uh, please also follow the Facebook page and links to other stuff in the about section go follow them and check them out there's content on there like twitch tiktok stuff like that and uh, also join the patreon if you can but if not you can follow it you know because there's, there's content on the patreon that you don't need to pay to get access to like polls and posts about upcoming stuff you can get that on the patreon just by following it for free so do that and you can keep up to date uh, but yeah that's it, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.